hello everyone welcome to bpo interview tutorials and guys uh, today we are here with the new topic uh, that is related to uh, bottle bottom quartile management so in the last video we have seen guys that how to uh, calculate bqm on the basis of target set by the client and we can calculate easily like uh, how many employees are there in bq how many employees are there in mq and how many employees are there in tq if you have not seen that video please watch out the playlist and watch out that video guys uh, welcome to bp interview tutorials guys please do share subscribe the channel and also uh, click on bell icon so that you can get the notification uh, on my new uh, videos so guys today's topic uh, as i promised that we will be also looking after the excel formula of quartile that how we can calculate uh, uh, quartiles uh, with the bq tq mq with the help of the excel formula guys in this the target is not specified so we will be not going as per the target this will calculate automatically uh, by this by the csat score what we have received you can calculate with the help of csat score you can also calculate with the uh, with the accuracy the fair audit score whatever uh, the scores you have for the employees okay let's start so guys uh, we have this formula we have we have two formulas here the first is quartile.inc second is quartile.exc so the difference between quartile.inc and uh, quartile.exc is uh, inc means inclusive ex uh, exc means exclusive in the uh, quartile.inc we will be taking uh, the smallest value which means from the 0 to and we are also finding the uh, maximum value here uh, i'll tell you with the help of example right away and in quartile.exc we will be just calculating uh, bq tq mq it will not find the maximum and the minimum so mostly in the companies they are using quartile.exc to identify the uh, the bq operators this formula is only useful only and only when the target was not set by the client the reason behind that is this will this formula will automatically calculate uh, the things I'll, I'll tell you with the help of live example now okay so we will start the live example before that please do uh, like the uh, video if you have uh, uh, if this video really helped you guys and also share your comments feedbacks and suggestions that uh, on what topic you required uh, the another video okay so guys um, let's start here so first we will use uh, quartile.inc the formula is equal to qu quartile dot I exc and inc we have two we will select inc okay now it is asking us the array array means the entire scores so i'm just selecting the column b here till uh, the last how many columns are available for me or else you can also select from the first to last okay now he is asking me comma now see guys i already told you uh, for quartile dot uh, inc it will be having minimum value maximum value uh, first second and third quartile correct so first we will go with the, the minimum value which means zero if i select zero so the minimum value so the minimum uh, value which means the top the least employees their score should be 71.50 so what i'll do i'll just keep this here and i'll keep this as a smallest value smallest value now what i'll do i want to calculate now q1 to calculate q1 uh, so what you do just copy paste the same here done and uh, right click and uh, what you will do again you will select score from b1 to b9 comma okay from b1 to give me one minute so we'll select from here to last okay or else you can also use dollar sign so that you can freeze this cell and just copy paste it to the bottom comma now i'll use one which means minimum 25 percent associate so the scores from 71 to 86 point something those are under the smallest value then apart after that from the 87 percent to the next they will come under uh, q1 quartile now what i'll do i'll just again select the same formula b12 okay I'll, I'll freeze this cell it, it's better to uh, so to to keep this you will use dollar function 
and press uh, four okay dollar sign and again dollar sign enter so it will freeze so it will be easy for us to calculate now okay it's it's not yet freeze no worries okay so total values are till 26 okay now i'll go with the two two means post that two now from 87 to 87.44 to 91.3 those associates are under q1 and after that from 91.4 to next how many associates we will be having those will comes under q3 again uh, b1 and 26 and i'll keep three here which means third quartile 75 percent so from 91.4 to 97.4 these associates will come under q3 and what about our largest value again same uh, b1 and 26 and we have four okay which means 100 so it, it's giving us the maximum value will be 100 and i'll convert it into percentage go to home click on percentage and separate it with some value okay give me one it's not converted yet correct okay so this is the entire scores guys in this way we can calculate the quartile uh, management so guys uh, here which means the smallest value q1 till that these associates we can consider under the bq q2 we will consider this associate from uh, 91.40 to 96.97.43 we can consider under the uh, mq and rest this q3 and the largest value we guy we can consider these employees under the uh, top quartile but here target not set for an example client gave us a target that above 90 percent scores will come under tq at that time this formula will not work because this formula doesn't know what was the target set by the client that is the reason i prepared the another video the last video what you have seen uh, check out guys wherein i have explained if the client have set the target then how we will calculate the bq tq and mq now this is uh, inclusive which we are not using in our companies guys because we do not want smallest and largest value we just want bq tq and mq guys okay and if we are if we are dividing it under like a bq then uh, mq1 mq2 and tq yes you can use this formula that's not an issue so we can keep smallest value associated in bq we'll keep this under mq1 uh, middle quartile 1 middle quartile 2 mq2 then we will keep rest in the tq so this is this is also we can uh, this also we can do to calculate the things now we will calculate quartile dot exc it will ask us to choose the array done now comma so here first quartile second quartile third quartile first quartile the associates who are under who are below 86.44 these associates are uh, in uh, bq for me correct now i'll calculate uh, the rest two so from 86.44 to 91.3 uh, this associate will be under mq and third from 97.22 to the 100 percent these associates are in tq now easily guys you can keep uh, the uh, uh, bq and tq scores here so which means i'll keep these associates till 97.22 97.22 yes these associates are in tq and uh, then mq we have from 91.44 to um 91.44 91.44 which means still here yes these associates are in under mq and the rest associates who are below to 91.44 91.14 sorry 91.14 okay till here now below to that all the associates are under bq so this exclusive function calculated bq mq tq in this way so guys i hope you have understood this but again i'm telling uh, this formula doesn't know like what is the client target so that's all guys uh, from my side uh, to understand the quartile formulas exclusive inclusive in the form of excel sheet thanks you uh, thanks you so much guys thanks for watching have a nice day please share subscribe the channel and also share